Hello there, Rock Hanmore from High Techniques. Just a quick clip, about three minutes, on how to bring in an external reference uh, from importing it from email. Um, it's a very good way of getting a file that you don't necessarily have to clean up or clean out or get hatched and removed. Um, it's able to recognize enough information that you can bring it in without too much editing or wasting time. Um, so I'm just going to go into my mail and so I sent this file to my mail there and I'm going to click on the file, it's a DWG file, XPad can handle DXF and DWG, it's able to transfer uh, from DWG into DXF, so no problems there. Uh, tap on the three dots and download the file and that file is now downloaded into my downloads. Uh, now I'm going to go into XPad and I'm going to go into a new job. And I said file is fine just for now. And instead of going the conventional import data, bringing in as a DXF or DWG file, um, if it's a busy file and there's an awful lot on it, external reference is the way to go. So we're going to, going to click external reference, add an external reference, AutoCAD DXF DWG, and we're going to click the folder three times to get it into downloads. And here we are, a sample DW, DW file, DWG file, um, which brings us into this screen here. Now, mode. It's going to be all on one layer because it's an external reference. Um, but if you want to use the original colors here, you switch that on. It and it ju it'll just uh, show you the difference between layers that were on file and the CAD file, and it's a bit easier to read. So I'm going to accept that and show you what it looks like on the other side. So going into CAD now, straight away. You see this file and it's busy now. There's there's an awful lot of information on it, and you can see that there's trees, drainage, all this information on it, even a, a ramp across the road, a stop sign, all that. But all we're really inter interested in is uh, is our set out of our blocks. Now, this particular file is an ICF file. Uh, sorry, an ICF construction. And if you if I zoom in here, I'll just show you what it looks like. In the corner, um, so you can see the the black line is the roof outline, and the two internal grey uh, lines there are the external and internal face of the ICF. Now, if you want, if you're looking to set this out in sight and you're looking for coordinates, you don't have anything. Um, I'm just going to put points on that after the import, um, and this is the handy thing about XPad that you can do this after you can bring in an external reference. So it even if it's an only an external reference, you can actually use it as a set out file. So we hit edit, hit measure, and select the object. That's the external face of the ICF file. Press OK. Now the segment length, we're going to reduce this to zero because it's zero distance from all the corners. Um, and tick the box and press OK. First name, first point name is 100, it's fine. And then you can see the file there that is after putting a point in there on the corner, 103. If you to tap 103 now, it has coordinates and levels, um, which is excellent for this type of import. And you see the four points on all them corners, 103, 102, 101, 100. Um, really good way, really smart way of getting a file into your tablet, getting up and running. Um, so hope that's useful. Hit me up on my details at the start um, if you if you need to know any more information about it, and uh, enjoy it. Thank you.